Hi, to all my esteemed viewers, this is Teacher Buxton. Welcome to my channel where we get to learn when surveying. I want to appreciate all the efforts for all those who have subscribed to this channel and have made it to grow this fast. To the new members, you can just make give it a try just to watch this only one video and definitely you're going to subscribe because you are not going to miss any of the upcoming videos. This is where we get to learn without any strain and explain the things in the easiest way possible. From what we've been doing, we've been preparing bills of quantities. In our previous session, we gave an example of how to carry out estimation of reinforcement bars for only one reinforcement bar. For today, I would like us to approach it in a way that you will approach the BQ that is now taking off the steel reinforcement for all the, all the steel bars on the suspended slab. I hinted that it's a very challenging part and it's just important that we give an example of how to tackle it in entirety. That is why we are back and that is the main objective of this session. As usual, we are using what we call, uh, we are using Excel because of its easy availability that you can always get it to do your estimation. So always at the side, this is where we do our, our waste calculations and then uh, we enter the figures into the uh, into the excel the reason we are repeating this or the reason we are also engaging in this is because we are keeping to the course the course is that we are learning how to prepare the bills of quantities so that the example alone will not be enough and that is why we have also uh, i'm also trying to uh, now do how you will handle it assuming that you are doing uh, the bills of quantities for this particular project so that once we've completed all the elements with the reinforcement steel, then we'll be in a position to enter our, um, do our summary on how to compile for all the figures in the bills of quantities. If you're doing any catch up or you're getting us for the first time, there is going to be a link of the playlist of all the items and the background videos that we've done on how to prepare bills of quantities. So you can simply uh, click on that and do catch up of all the items that we've covered which you have not covered. And if at all you've not understood any point, you can always review. That is the beauty of also that given link. It guides you. So thank you very much. Welcome to this session. Moving straight into now estimation of our reinforcement steel because the basics are all covered. And uh, the previous example was also giving you a hint on how to go about that. So for today, uh, what I would like us to, how I would like us to focus on it, is now to start. Now, when given, uh, when given the slab, there is always a detail giving you how the spans of a different reinforcement bars and they have, they have been arranged. So look for the layout of reinforcement bars on the suspended slab. Once you have it, in most cases, you'll realize that they are always annotated in regard to uh, in regard to bar marks. Okay, so for example, what we have, you've been shown those reinforcement bars in regard to the number, uh, the number of the bars, uh, the diameter, and also uh, bar mark intervals and uh, exactly which position they are going to be laid. So looking into what we have, for instance, you can see. That is bar mark one where I would like us to start. Okay, so I'll go to bar mark one. Um, just ch ch look into my cursor. You will realize that we have bar mark bar mark one at that point. So that is the one that I would like us uh, to start with. So that said, so for the bar mark one, you can see it's uh, T8. Okay, so what I will do is uh, indicate here T8 dot zero one. That means we have uh, T8 and it's bar mark, bar mark 01. So we'll just continue with it all that way until it's completed. So in our schedule of reinforcement, which I always emphasize to be used because it guides you so that you know you are taking uh, what item, you are taking at what point. Okay. In the schedule, just to reiterate, we have the diameter, we have the number, and we also have uh, length, 
total length and then the uh, length conversion factor so the diameter of the t8 is eight millimeters okay then the next point is the number what is the number there are four reinforcement bars 48 after that then you talk about the length so for you to get the length of one the reinforcement bar is always perpendicular to the annotation bar annotation bar is the one on which the uh, in which the description of that bar has been indicated so this is the description 4801 200 t2 that is the description below it is the annotation line follow through the annotation line until you find the line to which it's perpendicular to and then at the point where it's meeting that particular line on the dark spot the perpendicular line is now the reinforcement bar i would just like to uh, do away with this uh, or can just carry it so that you are able to you are able to see what i'm trying to describe all right so they can be okay while up there so i'll just uh, zoom out actually i'll zoom in so when i zoom in again this is what you are able to see so this is a point that i always emphasize so much because it's the gist of what we are talking about once it passes you then you are not going to be in a better position to understand what uh, we're going to cover moving forward so what i'm saying uh, this is a 4801 200 t2 annotation bar just follow annotation bar this one here okay all through as it stands as it stands i actually let me follow through if i can find it um, so following through uh, that annotation bar zero one Clearly, uh, there is no dark cycle which uh, links the annotation bar to the reinforcement as it the moment. So whenever you don't find, then you make an assumption. Okay, errors occur, and at times you might find they have not been indicated. So the first option is normally call the engineer and ask, which is the bar mark zero one. If that is not possible, then the next option at your disposal is for you to ask. I mean for you to make an assumption so in this case for this illustration I'm going to make an assumption because this is the annotation bar and I can't see the uh, line following it through to the end point I can't see exactly where uh, there is a dark cycle and that bar is uh, cro uh, crisscrossing at perpendicular uh, angle so I'm going to assume the length of that reinforcement bar so on my assumption it has to be guided okay let me try to so when I say it has to be guided because this is the reinforcement bar this is zero 01 so I have to assume that it's going to be of uh, almost equivalent length to this grid uh, this is grid uh, grid C1 to A1 okay I mean uh, C1 to halfway of uh, A between A1 and B1. So that means this is uh, 3.2 in total. Uh, 3.2, 3.2. Then I add halfway between A1 and B1 is uh, 600 millimeters. So that is uh, 3.8. So 3.8. I'll assume that the bar is even having uh, is uh, having the bends. I mean uh, the turn ups. Okay. So for the turn ups on either side, okay, turn ups for a slab of uh, 150 millimeters as this one is, then uh, the turn ups would be the whole 150, but then, so let me just uh, write it here. So what we'll do, uh, this is 3.2, then I'll add the 0.6, the 0 0.6, okay. 3.2 is from the center of this beam to the center of this other one but then you can see I want it to include up to this other beam the exterior one the one between A1 and B1 so half of it is 0 
so 3.2 plus 0 0.6 okay then I will add the turn ups within the slab on either side so for me to do that it's a 0 0.15 which is the total width total thickness of the reinforcement slab but then from the total thickness I need now to subtract the cover on each slab okay when you need the cover uh, go to the side notes of uh, your uh, drawing and uh, from the side notes you should be able to read uh, minimum cover that you have so when I zoom this in at number six we have cover to reinforcement in slabs is 15 15 millimeters okay so from the 0 0.15 I will subtract I'll subtract the 0 0.015 which is the 15 times 2 okay so that is a uh, cover on cover at the top and the bottom because whenever you're putting even the top one or top two you have to allow for the cover on either on either side so uh, I'll subtract 0 0.015 times 2 that is uh, to adjust for the cover so once I've uh, subtracted that, then I will add uh, the turn-ups, okay? Because I'm uh, cutting out this based on assumption. Where is... Um, yes, this is it. Because I'm cutting out this based on assumption, then turn-ups are also uh, included, okay? So for the turn-ups would mean, you can see, for example, this particular reinforcement bar where the arrow is pointing, it goes uh, to the beyond the reinforcement bar beyond the beam yeah actually uh, what I need to adjust as well the 3.2 and the 0 0.6 I need to these are the are the centers okay so the centers of the beams I need to add uh, 0. 0. Point, 0. Uh, 0. 0.1 times 2 okay the 0 0.1 is now halfway of the beam on either side because i need it to the end but then i will now subtract again i'm going to uh, explain that bit again this one minus another 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.015 0 0.015 times 2 then plus this uh, minus 0 0.015 times 2 then now plus the turn ups I'm going to go through that formula once again so you don't need to worry uh, the turn ups in this case they have not been indicated anywhere so it means I have to I have to reason out so I'm going to use a turn up of uh, 600 millimeters okay so based on uh, what I can see on my assumption this is one of the turn ups for example and in this turn up you can see this is 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 is from the center to this point between these lines and when you look at this one it's more or less of a similar length as what we are talking about 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 you base your argument based on uh, an informed opinion the length that you can reason out and and see for example this is 0 0.6 from this uh, line to this line okay and when you check at this one it's equivalent to uh, the 0. Point, 0. 0.6 so 0. 0.6 times 2 okay so let me go through this formula once again so that we are on the same page okay i've used an example of a steel reinforcement bar with ends looking like this one here on either side on both sides okay so the first length that you calculate is the straight length the straight length is 3.2 then i've added 0 0.6 and those two lengths they are ending at the centers of the beams but when you can look at this particular reinforcement bar it's towards it's up to the end okay so i need to add half of the beam twice on either side on uh, one end and on this other end as well so that is why we have the 0 0.1 because the beam is 0 0.2 so the 0 0.1 times 2 
then you subtract now the cover reinforcement cover for the slab is 15 millimeters so it's at the top and at the bottom because you can see how it's bending from this way going uh, these are the bottom and then to the top so you subtract 15 millimeters to the top and 15 millimeters to the bottom that is 0 0.015 times 2 then you add the 0 0.15 uh, yes the first one uh, the first one is uh, the 0 0.1 the first one is for the longer uh, for the longer length so I've, I've subtracted now the cover toward the end okay the cover toward the end and I've done it twice because it's uh, one end and then the opposite end as well then you add the 0 0.15 uh, 0 0.15 now it's now uh, this particular uh, dimension from the top to the bottom okay within the uh, within the reinforcement within the slab so that is 0 0.15 minus now uh, the top cover uh, cover the top and cover the bottom the 0 0.015 times 2 then I've added the turn up now this is the turn up okay the part that goes uh, after you've uh, gone through the, the slab and then it also turns to either side within the slab where my cursor is indicating that is uh, the 0 0.6 times 2 okay so this is now an, uh, the combined length of all the sides of uh, that particular uh, all the sides of that particular reinforcement bar so uh, let's see what that gives us that gives us a total length of uh, 5.29 of just one uh, reinforcement bar okay then for me to get the total length it's uh, the length of one bar uh, times the number it gives us that uh, conversion constant is 162 weight conversion is equals to diameter squared so that is 8 times 8 times 8 then times the total length divided by 162 okay so for the t8 the bar mark 0 1 total uh, total weight is this 8.359 so that having been done then we go to the next reinforcement next reinforcement bar so you follow it's easier for you to follow them in orderly manner so that you don't confuse any next is uh, next is this one this is uh, 2 t8 then the next uh, is uh, bar mark 02 and uh, this is the annotation line 2 t8 02 200 t2 and uh, there is a bar uh, you can look at this this is the annotation line there is that uh, the two uh, uh, the two points I mean uh, the two dark smaller points at the top and the bottom showing you where the bars are going to be are going to be spread okay so having reviewed I'd like to give a correcting explanation for <laughs> Uh, for what I explained for bar mark 01 they're indicated to be 48 okay looking at the denote annotation line there are only four marks or uh, four shorter bars going through that particular uh, that are perpendicular to that annotation line so the bars are only one two three four those are the reinforcement bars you know it's it varies from uh, one engineer to the other on how to annotate but then there are now those longer ones which are perpendicular uh, the, the longer ones are the ones that are shown by the dot and they're the ones that are perpendicular to the annotation line so kindly adopt this uh, current explanation as opposed to what I explained earlier okay so actually the length would be though we are going to use that later on in uh, bar mark number oh, this is bar mark number nine that is going to come a bit uh, later on but for now in our uh, for bar mark zero one the length that i would like us to adopt the bar is the the bar are the one that these are shorter ones that is what i've uh, just uh, realized according to this uh, very plan so the shorter ones you'll give it 
it will give this a length so you can say 200 you can give it 200 millimeters okay the shorter one the shorter one i mean look at this there is this a very small bar here and then there is also another very small bar here okay so this this side is two and also this side there are two so the length of that will give it to be uh, 0. 0. 0.2 okay 0 0.2 millimeters so that is uh, okay then we go to bar mark 02 bar mark 02 the same they are just very two short bars here which are uh, 2 t8 so it's a uh, t8 t8 dot uh, this bar mark 02 and then uh, the diameter is 8 millimeters uh, the number of the bars is 2 and then uh, the length of the bar is zero, uh, 0 0.2 okay so we adopt the same formula that we've had here for the total length it's the length of one times the number and then uh, the conversion uh, constant is 162 formula is going to remain the same of uh, t uh, diameter squared times the total length over 162 then we go to bar mark 03 bar mark 03 is here okay 03 is this one here so you follow it uh, follow bar mark 03 this is a 16 t10 03 to 50 b2 okay so what we have here uh, so uh, bar mark 03 the orientation line is this follow it through until where you find the dike cycle and what is perpendicular to it the perpendicular line to that very bar is this okay so the dike cycle that i'm talking about is this one and the reinforcement bar is there for this going all the way okay including uh, actually just what i give uh, what i gave on my previous explanation so this is uh it's a t uh, 16 t10 yeah so this is a t16 t16 10 yeah the uh, diameter is 10 and then uh, the number of bars are 16 in number and then uh, uh, the length of one bar per mark 03 is therefore going to be let me just zoom it in i put it yes yeah, so this is it so we have this is the reinforcement bar and uh, the length is going to be this is 1.2 plus 3.2 plus 0 0.6 so i add all that is equals to 1.2 plus 3.2 plus uh, 0 0.6 okay and as usual that is now the total length on a flat surface but then i now need to add because you remember in my previous explanation you now need to get the length towards the edge because what we've got is at the, from the centers okay so from the centers then you need to add 0 0.1 okay that is now on either side of the beam 0 0.1 times 2 once you have that then you're now going to subtract the cover for the slab cover for the slab is 15 millimeters okay on either side so it's 0 0.015 times two that is for the covers and then now you need the length for uh, the turn ups and the turn up starts from this very portion here okay so you'll take the total uh, thickness of the slab which is 0 0.15 the 0 0.15 you also need now to less the, the, the covers on top and at the bottom okay so you take uh, 0 0.015 times two okay that is for the cover on top and at the bottom on one side okay and then this one now you need to multiply it uh, uh, 0 point 0 point uh, one five you need now to multiply what you get here times two because it's turning the bar is turning at uh, here and then at the opposite side as well okay then we now add another turn up now the longer ones and we explained that we'll use 
0 0.6 for uh, for the turn ups these are the turn ups that i'm talking about where my cursor is pointing at exactly so that is a uh, 0 0.6 times 2 okay so in my re re uh, emphasis is uh, get the flat length the length of the flat surface 1.2 then you've added that and you added that you also consider moving up to the edges of the beams but then you now subtract only the covers okay so having done that you get the total length of the flat surface then you now get the turn ups on either side okay that is what we have done so having explained that then uh, the total length the formula is still going to remain the same and then this is still 162 and uh, now the total weight is supposed to be uh, that is a uh, 65 okay yeah so alternatively before you make any assumption for example the one that were not indicated like uh, by mark 0 1 and 0 2 it's always very safe for you to ask the engineer who designed that particular drawing on whether where that particular reinforcement bar is going to be that is the safest if you see clarification then you won't make any assumption because you realize that some of those reinforcement bars have not been indicated and when they are not been indicated you will assume so you'll either assume too less or too high so it's always safer when you ask uh, yeah. on what the reinforcement bar on those ones that have not been indicated are going to be then you proceed with that that is the safest that i will always recommend unless you can't find the clarification then you can go ahead and uh, make your assumption so the basic principle remains the same the annotation bar is perpendicular to the reinforcement bar then you need to get the length need to get the total number and the way it's interpreted as just we've uh, described so that is a uh, bar mark uh, zero three oh not really this is uh where is the bar mark zero three we've done yes this is a uh, 16 t 10 bar mark zero three all right so this ought to have been t 10 then zero three which uh t 10 is the the diameter and then zero three is the bar mark then we go to bar mark number four Yes, at uh, bar mark number four, it's going to be this one. So the same case applies. In these other shorter, uh, the other shorter reinforcement bars. So as I've just emphasized, it's best when you see clarification on which the where, where the re exact reinforcement bar is going to be is going to be uh, going to be placed. So at this point, we'll still assume the shorter shorter lengths, uh, the 0 0.2, so the 10, uh, 0 0.4, that is a 10 T8, so we'll take uh, T8, T8 dot, um, dot 0 0.4, which is the bar mark, okay, so in that case now the diameter is 10 millimeters, and uh, the number is uh, 10 yeah 10 to 8 and then the length that we are going to use for now we are going to assume just the 0 0.2 in this case but then you need to seek clarification on which the length is supposed to be exactly and then uh, now the total length formula is going to be the same this is uh, 162 and then that one is that all right yeah which it's uh, highly possible that uh, these ones are showing the extent of how to spread those reinforcement bar but because there is not even an arrow to show you that that is now where to spread the bars we've assumed that the reinforcement bars are those uh, smaller ones because you can even count this is 10 and if you count these ones it's also conforming to that yeah so that is a bit confusing and i'll emphasize that the best point is to seek clarification from the engineer on where the reinforcement bar is going to be placed moving on to bar marker 05 
you follow it through as usual per mark 05 the uh, annotation bar is the one that i'm following here and the bar is indicated at this point okay so looking at this you can always notice that there is a there is an arrow showing you where that reinforcement those reinforcement bars are going to be spread so it's between this point to this point okay that is how the bars are going to be spread but then the reinforcement bar is this at the dark mark we have the reinforcement bar it goes all the way all the way from here going down to this other point and bending like that yeah so looking at the other bars that we've done of course i can't see it we have not done it so we have to talk about we have to estimate its length as well so that that comes to yes so it starts from here where the 3.2 is uh, starting and goes all the way to goes all the way to this point and so it's that is a uh, 1.2 3.2 okay so that is a uh, bar mark 0 05 and uh, t10 okay so that is a uh, t10.05 which is the bar mark and then uh, the diameter is uh, 10 the number of the bars is uh, 13 yeah 13 t10 there are 13 bars the length of that reinforcement bar is equal to uh, looking at this we have it starts from uh, 3.2 okay 3.2 then we add a uh, 1.2 and then adjust for the rest of the other sides and though that include uh, uh, that include adding for uh, the 0 0.1 for the beam times 2 the way I explained earlier okay so once you have that uh, the 0 0.1 times 2 then you subtract now uh, for the cover to get the length on the straight part so with the cover will take 0 0.015 times 2 uh, that is for the cover of course on one end on the top and at the bottom so we've done so we've uh, deducted for that and then now the turn up the turn up starts from uh, the slab itself and i explained that so it's um, zero point i'll do into bracket 0 0.15 0 0.15 uh, then we subtract 0 0.15 then you subtract uh, the cover cover is 0 0.015 times 2 okay so this one we need to multiply it by 2 okay for one end and the other the opposite end you can see it's uh, making a complete uh, replica of what you have from one uh, from one end and the, and the opposite end so we do that times 2 and then we add the turn up now at the top okay and uh, that is now equals to 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 times uh, 0 0.6 times 2 okay so we have the total length as that and then uh, this one is now the length of 1 times the number just copy the formula it will replicate what we have there this is 162 and then uh, this one here it's uh, yeah, now that is the weight. So that is uh, bar mark 0 05. Quite a number of them go to bar mark 0 06. Bar mark uh, 0 06 is. Uh, uh, 0 06 is this now. Okay, now just zoom in as well. You can see this is the reinforcement bar. They are spanning from here to this point. It also have the same characteristic that I've just explained for the other bar, okay? So that makes it easier. So what we do? This is three t ten, so it's uh, t ten dot bar mark zero six. The diameter is ten. The number of bars there are three. You have seen there, and then uh, the length therefore. 
this is a 1200 and 3.2 it's uh, similar to what yeah 3.2 and 1.2 yeah it's similar to what we've uh, calculated so you can just copy that and uh, yeah just copy what we have done there and we'll paste it here okay then the rest of the formula remain the same this is also 162 I mean 162 so we have that that is a uh, bar mark 06 uh, bar mark 06 is done then you go you follow through and uh, get to bar mark uh, 07 for the bar mark 07 let me just move this yes so this is the bar mark 07 it's a uh, 2 t8 07 200 t2 so when you follow that as well trying to find where those reinforcement bars are going to be are going to be placed all right so let's see yeah so there the there, there is also not express part where they have been shown so that means we'll adopt the same same uh, assumption that we did previously of the 0 0.2 uh, so what we do uh, this is bar mark 07 it's 28807 so this is uh, t8.08 uh, the diameter therefore is 8 millimeters and there are two of them the length of one we will see will assume to be 0 0.2 and then uh, the uh, this is now the total length i'll just copy that formula then uh, this other one is 162 still and now uh, that is uh, now that is the kgs that we have there uh, that is a T8. We've uh, worked on that uh, for the bar mark 08. So let's see if we can do up to T10. Let's look for T09. I mean bar mark 09. Bar mark 09 is here. Yes. So you follow bar mark 09 up to this point, and then you find it here. This is where the reinforcement bar is uh, located. <coughs> Sorry. So at bar mark uh, 09, you follow it. This is the reinforcement bar. Okay. So uh, it's bar mark 09. So it's 18 T10 09. So this is uh, T10 T10 09. The diameter is 10. Diameter is 10. And then uh, the number is 18. Here is 18 the length of the bar that is also the part to calculate now if i zoom it out a bit this is the reinforcement bar here it's spanning from uh, this is a uh, 3200 all the way up to uh, plus 0 0.6 okay so uh, we'll add yeah i believe yeah there's a point we started with it when i'm giving the first example so that is uh, 3.2 3.2 uh, yeah is equals to 3.2 then we add uh, the 0 0.6 okay 3.2 plus the 0 0.6 then we lost uh, adjust to the other ends and the other ends would mean uh, the sides of the beam 0 0.1 0 0.1 times 2 on either end and then turn up is only on one side okay the turn up is only on one side of course we will subtract covers as usual covers is uh, 15 still cover on either side 0 0.015 
times 2 and then uh, the turn up is only on one side which is to this end uh, towards uh, grade uh, B1 so we'll add we'll add 0 0.15 and subtract also other set of covers 0 0.015 times 2 that is the covers on that part okay and then we add now the turn up to the uh, top this one here and we settled on uh, 0 point 0 0.6 so the length is uh, 4.69 and then now the total length of course uh, the multiplication this is 162 and then uh, the formula is still in place so you notice how tedious that is because the reinforcement bars there are so many of them so we've just done so far we've just done 10 from bar mark 0, 01 to bar mark number 10 but then looking at it there are so many of them from what i can see it goes up to item uh, bar mark number 41 so you are always expect that when you're handling reinforcement bars for slabs you handle all of them from the first one bar mark one to bar mark number 41 okay so that is how you are always expected to go uh, to go through it and uh, based on the example that we're given, I'm confident that what I've explained is uh, very helpful and will guide you in uh, doing your subsequent works for, for steel reinforcement. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our session today. And I would urge you that before you leave, kindly make a subscription to the channel so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos that I believe are quite helpful. For any Tyler made request in regard to uh, personal tutoring, also preparation of bills of quantities, consultation for the good surveying, I'm just a call away. At the bottom of this video, you can find my number. Just WhatsApp me or make a call, you'll find me so that I give you services that you'd like. Thank you very much and have a great time. Till we meet again in our next session. Bye bye.